Many of us are turning to comfort foods during this difficult time, but that can mean packing on the Corona 5 or 10 perhaps. The owner of Girl in the Kitchen, Mila Furman, joins us this morning to tell us how we can indulge in those comfort foods without feeling the guilt. Good morning. I'm so glad we're talking about this. Good morning. Same. I know it's a big struggle for all of us, so I'm happy to give a little relief. Yeah, definitely. I know I've been turning to comfort foods. You're a private chef. You also have two kids, so you know what it's like cooking at home. You have what you call the foodamentals. Tell me about that first. Yeah, so the foodamentals are basically my guide to eating healthy and kind of allowing myself to give in to those indulgences on occasion and then just jumping right back into eating really well for your own body. And it's kind of a unique take on what is going to be good for you and not necessarily what every other diet out there says. Okay, let's talk about some of the um, little twists you want to bring to some of those comfort foods. Let's start with pizza. I know I had some of the traditional kind yesterday. How could I make that more healthy? So what I love to do is I take portobellos and I stuff them with your favorite pizza ingredients and then you just throw them in the oven for like 20 minutes and you've gorgeous cheesy little mini portobello pizzas without the crust but it's just as satisfying because you still get that cheese and that flavor of the pizza without any of those carbs. So it's just a portobello cap. Do I do anything to it? You literally stick it on a sheet pan that's been oiled with a little bit of olive oil. Put all your favorite ingredients on it. I start with sauce, cheese, veggies, whatever you like, and then just throw it in the oven at like 400 degrees for 20 minutes, and you're done. I can do that. That sounds easy. Let's move on to pasta. We know everybody's been eating pasta because the shelves have been bare of pasta. How can we make that a little bit better for us? So I love to do uh, spaghetti squash boats. I find that it's super easy and really comforting because all you have to do is just roast it again with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, if you like. And then I add my favorite ingredients to it, which is more garlic, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of mozzarella. And so you get like this really cheesy, gorgeous boat. And you could serve it either just in the boat like this, or you can serve it as spaghetti and actually take it out. And the kids love it because you can actually swir uh, swirl it on a fork. And they love actually like making spaghetti out of it in the boat. It's like a fun little project for them. Right. That's a good way to get kids involved in the cooking. How about your chicken? You say you've got a, a little bit better way to do chicken for me. Yeah. So I do a chicken parmesan that is completely breadcrumb free. And so basically what I do is I take the breadcrumbs out of the breading process. So it's just egg, parmesan, and then my secret is I do it again. So it's like a double parmesan batter and then I just lightly pan fry them put marinara a little bit of mozzarella and some parm throw them in the oven just until it's golden and melted and there you go oh my gosh okay we're gonna move on to dessert now which I'm excited about whipped cream I mean we all love whipped cream but um, the easy way is to get it out of the can <laughs> should I not be doing that you shouldn't because it's entirely too easy to make it at home. So there's two methods I use. And I mean, I always love to add some really gorgeous fresh vanilla paste because it's got those little black specks and it just adds so much flavor. You can throw it in your high powered Vitamix or any other blender. And within like nine seconds, you have heavy cream or rather have whipped cream. And you can eat it with a little bit of chocolate or some cinnamon. You can throw strawberries in there, whatever you like. So it's super easy and it's fat. Yeah, that doesn't take long at all. And how about peanut butter cups? You're making peanut butter cups? Yeah, so I love peanut butter cups. And I find that, you know, the store-bought ones, they tend to be full of really bad ingredients, really bad oils. I make them by myself, and the kids help. So it's super easy. You find whatever chocolate you like. I use really dark chocolate. Melt with a little bit of coconut oil right in the microwave. Pour it into a little muffin cup within a muffin tin. And then you free fridge that for like 10 minutes or so until it's just stir, um, harder. And then you add some peanut butter to it, top it off with some more chocolate, put it in the fridge, and you're done. Oh, my and gosh. you have these gorgeous little peanut butter cups. All right. I know what I'm going to have my daughter making this weekend. <laughs> Mila, I appreciate your time. I want to tell people they can go to girlinthekitchen.com for more ideas. I've been looking at it this morning. So many yummy-looking things to make. Mila Furman, thanks so much for talking to us and giving us some cooking ideas. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. She's also been helping out uh, getting some relief to first responders, so we appreciate that. It is right now 8.52. Coming up on Good Day Chicago, what the TV voice of the White Sox